What is up there? Ladies and trash junkies, freaking junkies, what's up? My name's Seb, this is the cam. Boom, this is Seb Cam. We've got a good haul today. Look at this. we got bananas, apples, loads more bananas, a bunch of these. I think they're like fancy chocolates. Belgian chocolates. Lots of good stuff today. Oh, more bananas. I don't know how I'm going to carry all this, actually. I'll work out how to carry it once I know how many, you know, how much there is to carry. Entire cakes. Look. Irresistible cakes. I'm gonna resist, but it's impressive to say the least. It's an impressive haul today. What's that onion? Like, this juice is kind of interesting. Maybe I take it. It's all gonna be pretty heavy anyway. I'm gonna have to find a way. What is that? Mash? Oh no, sausages. <laughs> Skip out, I'll pass on the sausages. So that's a pretty good haul right there. I guess this is a very short video. This is freegan foraging in the bins. That's the haul of the day. And uh, this happens every day, any day of the week this kind of stuff is available. So there's no real excuse to not eating plants, fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables and stuff. So I'd like to make a longer video, but I'm running right now. I'm busy. I've been on the phone all day and I've got to figure out where to put this. I've got to get to the post office before that closes. I've got to do a lot of things and I don't have my selfie stick yet because I haven't had time to pick that up. So. I'm gonna push the button. All right, but I'll catch you later when I got more time to talk. My name's Seb, this is the Cam. This is Seb Cam. Oh, I didn't push the button. Push the button, push the button. Alrighty, what's happening ladies and sunshine junkies, I think. We're sunshine junkies today. My name's Seb, this is Cam Boom. Is the camera on? It's on. Look, this is my trusty steed. <laughs> I did say I'll find a way to get home. So I pick up the big bag from the bins. It's so heavy, I mean, it's difficult to judge on a camera, but you can sort of see by, look, it looks heavy, right? Like, can you see that that's pretty heavy? Ugh, even if I try, I can't lift it any higher than that. Ugh. So, I uh, begin carrying it in two arms. I still haven't got my selfie stick, as you can tell, so the camera's all over the place. I'm holding it like this in two arms, thinking, really, I'm going to go five miles home with this. And literally, immediately to my left, in the hedge, I see someone's dumped this old pram. I don't think it works. Uh, what is it they call it in America? Not pram. Stroller. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, one of those things. Cart. Like, they don't call it a shopping trolley. It's a shopping cart. Uh, so... The front wheels don't seem to really, they're all over the place, so like, whoa, and the back, maybe I haven't like pushed it down or something, I don't really know, but what I did was just tipped it up, did a wheelie all the way home, I wheelied all the way home, it looked something like this, Oop, dump that in there, mostly heavy juice, 
on the bottom and it sort of cripples but then I can tip it Wah! like a kind of a wheelbarrow trolley it's weird because I was speaking with Dave from Dave's diner yesterday about a guy who went running across America with a trolley like this carrying all the stuff it's actually you know it's kind of not too uncomfortable Whoa! <laughs> I'm hitting the logs. I forgot there's a log there. It's not too bad because obviously it takes the weight. It releases a lot of weight that I would have been carrying through all my joints, my feet, my legs, my arms. You know, the invention of the wheel is a great benefit. But would I want to do it for more than five miles home? No. In fact, that was more than enough. I'm already kind of sick of it. Uh, I considered maybe this is a backup plan for, because I don't have a bike now. I broke my bike and uh, I'm just training my legs more. Focusing on leg strength. got to open it anyway so we might as well just rip it open and see what's in the bins today what's in the bins today so there's lots of good bananas when I say good I mean like yeah they look pretty battered but they're ripe a cucumber that's in good condition all the apples are in very good condition there's tons of this fancy Belgian chocolate Trying to do all this with one hand is not the easiest thing in the world. That's about as as dirty as it gets. There, there's some kind of cow jizz spillage on the Belgian chocolates. But I guess they're probably sealed. Yeah, of course, they're sealed anyway. Ooh, cocoa love. Hazelnut, caramel, lemon. I mean, that'll be fun. That's a gift for someone right there. You know, maybe the one without the jizz all over the front. I'm sure it's relatively expensive. There was even this coconut water. I'm going to have that right now. And then the juices and more bananas. It's a good stash. It's a very good haul. So, let's celebrate with a coconut water. I'll do my best. Not to push the button. There we go. Uh, the time now, I'm not too sure. Uh, um, but the sun is going down. It must be four, five. Definitely four. More like five. That's nice. Cheers. Just on a side note, one thing I was going to do on the way home, because I was getting kind of, kind of hungry, like I haven't eaten all day. I'm running, I'm pushing a trolley, I've been running in town, like there's a lot of energy being expended. A very quick solution to that is just drink a whole liter. You know, this is one liter of juice. Doesn't really matter what juice, you know, your flavor of choice. And I've done that many times. I'll just stop. I'm hoping I'm in the frame. I'm like, am I in the shot? I think so. I'll stop at the shop. I'll pay for the one liter of whatever flavor juice. Pineapple is one of my favorite ones. Or something like that, tropical mango, something interesting. I don't like just orange juice, it's a bit boring. Apple juice is often, you know, pleasant. Whatever juice the shop has, get the most appealing to you. Take it, take the cap off, and just neck it right there. Glug, 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 glug. Instant energy. 
You don't have to carry anything with you. You don't have to stop and chew. You throw the carton away and you're still light enough. All you've really had is a drink. You could keep on trucking. And now you've got tons more calories. Like, let's take some example of calories here. It's gonna be 530 calories if I drink the whole thing. This watermelon star fruit, which I'm interested to try, 400 calories. That's the same again, and that's the same again. So yeah, four or 500 calories is a good hit for drinking a liter. That'll get you It'll last you another hour or two. Hour, you know, trucking on without having to stop and eat and, you know, sit down and take a break. It's a kind of like on the move, instant sugar solution. All right. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom, this is Seb Cam. The freaking bins department. Get your bins out. Boop, 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 boop. I saw.